What's good with y'all boys, man? Welcome back to the channel. It's Prem, man. Now listen, I got a very important question for y'all. What would happen if 30 of the greatest intercontinental champions were in a Royal Rumble together? Now this entire group of wrestlers is star-studded. There is a combined over 70 intercontinental championship reigns between all these dudes, bro. Leading the charge, though, with nine intercontinental championship reigns is that man Chris Jericho. And right behind him is The Miz with eight. But we also have guys like Pat Patterson, of course. Your current intercontinental champion, Gunther. You got the British. Bulldog, Ken Shamrock, Mr. Perfect, Ricky Steamboat, Stone Cold, Ultimate Warrior, Shawn Michaels, Shelton Benjamin, Razor Ramon, Ravish and Rick Root, bro. It's, it's stacked, bro. It's it's really, really stacked. I don't even want to do too much talking because of how long it took me to think about all these wrestlers and put them all together. This kind of, it, it took a while. I'm going to be honest. It took a while. Okay. Starting off first, we have Jeff Hardy. Okay. They're it, trying to give us that entertainment factor first. I like it. I like it. Wow. Jeff Hardy versus the Macho Man to start. That's actually kind of fire, chat. I ain't going to lie. That's, <laughs> Yo, that's fire. Let's get it, bro. Oh, my God. You got Jeff Hardy taking on Macho Man, Randy Savage, bro. Hey, look. Comment down below. Y'all know how it go. Predictions. Predictions. Say it in your head. Let me know if you was right. But with, with 30 of these superstars, bro, it's very unpredictable, chat. Very, very unpredictable. The Macho Man is getting his... Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. People are coming in at that type of pace? Oh, that's going to be good. It's going to be good, chat. It's going to be good. And it is Edge coming in at number three. Oh, my God. Sean Benjamin has arrived. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's getting, it's getting real interesting. <laughs> we got Jeff Hardy working on Edge over there in the corner. But you know how I think about them, them corners, man. Nobody ever gets eliminated from the corner, bro. It never happens. It literally never, ever happens. Oh, there they go. Working on the corner again. Oh, nice takedown by Macho Man. Wade Barrett coming in at five. Yo, chat. Nobody's got eliminated yet, but I want this, I want this, I want this ring to fill up, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Sean Benjamin with the combos. Who don't get eliminated first, chat? We already have our sixth entrant coming into the match, bro. I want to guess. I'm going to guess it's Randy Orton. I'm going to guess it's Randy Orton, and I'm biased. So Randy Orton going to win it all. Oh, it's Ultimate Warrior. It's Ultimate Warrior. Oh, yeah. He finna come in and shake shit up. I ain't going to lie. I didn't grow up around that era, obviously, but I could only imagine how it was seeing Ultimate Warrior live or, like, even on TV, bro. Cause I know my grandmother, I think my grandmother used to go crazy for Ultimate Warrior or something like that. Like, or like Ric Flair. It was Ric Flair. She was going crazy for like Ric Flair and shit, bro. Not gonna lie. Oh, come on. We got entry number seven already, bro. Already? Uh-oh. The Rock is here. Damn, I forgot. Yo, it's so many stars in this shit, bro. Oh, The Rock got Ultimate Warrior over the top. Oh, yeah. Ultimate Warrior was not going for that. The Rock thought he was doing something. Oh my gosh, on Benjamin. Okay. He's a sleeper pick, not gonna lie. He's a sleeper pick. I forgot what entry he came in at, but he's definitely a sleeper. We have entry number eight coming in the ring, bro. Oh, Edge is eliminated by Wade Barrett. We have our first elimination chat. Let's get it. As Chris Jericho makes his way into the ring. Oh, shut the Benjamin hanging on for dear life. Show Benjamin in the corner. Oh, he's not going for that. He knows. Shelton Benjamin knows game, bro. You don't get eliminated in the corner, bro. If you get eliminated in the corner, you a loser, dog. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. But I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep. I'm trying to keep track of people's eliminations. And Wade Bear has one. Oh my God! Crazy springboard right there. Uh oh, Jeff Hart. Oh, I thought that was going for the twist of fate. Chris Jericho and Jeff Hart. Oh, I like that. I like that matchup right there. I like that matchup with the drop kick. Come on, y'all. Come on. Who is this entrant number eleven? It's 11 coming out, or is it 10? It's 9. Damn. Triple H makes his way to the ring. Oh, we're here for the Elims, man. We're here for the Elims. Get active. Get act. Oh, my God. Wade Barrett is looking like a force right now, bro. I really like Wade Barrett. I ain't gonna lie. Bad news, Barrett. Oh, nice elbow to the leg. We have yet to see the man who is currently the Intercontinental Champion, who actually should be the favorite in this match. Cause he can stand toe to toe with anybody that comes in here, bro. Not going like, well, Key Steamboat is here. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It might be crazy to say, but I feel like Gunther can stand toe to toe with anybody in this ring right now. God, Ultimate Warrior. Oh, Ultimate Warrior fighting Macho Man. I just, I just thought about that. That's fire. Oh my gosh, Shelton Benjamin eliminates Wade Barrett. That's fire. Oh, and goes for the Spine Buster. Oh yeah, Shelton Benjamin's feeling it. He's feeling it. And going after Ultimate Warrior, bro. 
Hey, spawn buster to you too. That's fire, bro. Oh, Chris Jericho. He, yeah, yeah. He said, "Shut that shit up." He said, "Shut that shit up right now." Yo, Shelton Benjamin is on one right now. No, Ultimate Warrior, you stopped. He was about to eliminate Macho. I swear he was. I swear he would. No, keep focus on Macho. Man, he's right there. Yo, he's right there. Shelton, Shelton. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, right hand. The Rock got him up. Atomic drop. Woo. We got number 11, number 10, my bad. Rick Rude is here. Oh no. Macho Man about to eliminate Jeff Hardy. Macho Man about to eliminate Jeff Hardy. It's right there. Oh, Shelton Benjamin is out of here by the rock. Hold on. Bodies are dropping right now. Chris Jericho said, nah, nah. None of that. And Jeff Hardy was able to withstand uh, Macho Man trying to take him out. Uh oh, the rock in the corner. Oh, getting some more chops by Triple H. Yo, Triple H is targeting The Rock for real, for real, bro. Uh oh, Rick Ro Oh, Chris Jericho is out of here. And The Rock bottom to the Ultimate Warrior who just eliminated Chris Jericho. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, The Rock is on one. Oh, he reversed it. Macho Man reversed it. Oh, is Jeff Hardy going up top? No way he's looking for the swans. Oh, I'm about to say, bro. Ultimate Warrior is getting fucked up right now. But we got entry number 11 coming in, man. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Personally, one of my top three... You know what I'm saying? Intercontinental champions of all time. Dolph Ziggler has entered the match, man. And if y'all were wondering my personal list of greatest Intercontinental champions, bro, I will say number one is The Miz, bro. Like, he's like the perfect heel. He's he's a great character. He knows his role, bro. The Miz is the undeniably number one. Number two, I have to go Gunther. I'm gonna be honest. His reign is speaking for itself, bro. He made a lot of people fans over the last two to three years, bro. And number three is a toss-up for real, bro. Number three is a real toss-up. Cause I love everything Chris Jericho did as Intercontinental Champ. I love Shelton Benjamin as Intercontinental Champ. Like, I don't know, three is really a toss up for me. But we did just have Ricky Steam. Oh, who was that just got eliminated? Who just got eliminated? Oh, Macho Man is out of here. Damn. Oh, oh my God, big suplex from uh, Triple H to Dolph Ziggler. Come on, Ziggles. Got high praise for you, my boy. Oh, so, uh, ooh, and a double team work from The Rock and uh, Triple H, who was uh, just going at it a couple minutes ago. Oh, no. I think The Rock is out of here. The Rock might be out of here. Hold on. The Rock might be out of here. Oh, they help. Yo, Rick Rude, the Ultimate Warrior, getting The Rock out of here. Bro, he's right there. He's right there, and he's out of here. Damn. The double team to get him out. It's crazy. It's crazy. Ooh, Triple H put on the moves. Oh, Jeff Hardy, you got a chill going up there, bro. They're going to push your ass off. Let's see the next entrant, bro. We have Pedro Morales. Okay. Oh, Triple H going for the pedigree on Jeff Hardy. Is Jeff Hardy about to be out of here soon? Is Jeff Hardy about to be out of here soon as he crawls into the car? Oh, Ricky Steamboat has just been eliminated by Rick Rude. Oh, man. And we got Jeff Jarrett coming in, man, number 14. I think he had like eight Intercontinental Championship reigns, bro. Maybe seven. I don't know. It's like eight or seven. But show us something, Jeff. Show us something, Jeff. Already working on Dolph Ziggler. The Battle of the Blondes type shit. Look at Pedro Morales working on Ultimate Warrior, though. I feel like Ultimate Warrior might be out of here soon. And another, like, hot take. Nobody that's in a ring right now will win this match. I'm going to just say that right now. I don't think nobody in this ring right now is going to win this nope. match. Nope. Ooh. Triple H, oh my god, that was fire. That sequence was fire, bro. He literally avoided the drop kick from on the outside and then eliminated Dolph Ziggler like that. That's tough. That is definitely tough. Uh oh, Jeff Hardy? Oh, he missed it. Damn, bro, he missed it. But Eddie Guerrero makes his way to the ring. At number 15, we're halfway through this chat. So that mean the final 15 will have Gunther. Randy Orton, Bret Hart, Diesel. Oh my God! We're, yeah, we're, we're in for a treat, chat. We are definitely in for a treat. Stone Cold, Dash, and Cody Rhodes. Yeah, it's about to be crazy, chat. It's definitely about to get crazy in here. How is Jared Jared knocked out like that? I said Jared Jared. How is Jeff Jared knocked out like that? Jeff already came in at one, bro. I'm just realizing that. What the hell was that? And Cody Rhodes is entrant number 16. As Jeff Jarrett has Ultimate Warrior at the top, but he's down now. Pedro Morales got Triple H in the corner. Triple H, you cannot go out like a loser, bro. Only losers get eliminated in the corner, bro. That shit never works, dog. Please don't get eliminated in the corner. There we go. Nice forearm. Ooh. Okay, Eddie. Okay, Eddie. Nice knee lift. Ran right into Ultimate Warrior, though. And dashing Cody Rhodes is out of here already. That's crazy. 
That's crazy they did him like that, bro. Bro was in there for like six seconds, dog. Oh my God, Pedro Morales has Ultimate Warrior up over his head and he's pressing him. Oh my Lord, Pedro still got it. Hey, headbutt, show these youngsters, man. Show these youngsters how the old heads get down, Pedro. Oh, tossing his ass like nothing. Eddie Guerrero and Jeff Hardy going at it right now. Like I said, Jeff Hardy came in at number one, chat. Number one. Spin oh my god, standing Spanish fly like that? That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh-oh. Hey, nice face buster to Triple H. And oh my god, a flying forearm to Pedro Morales. Brett the Hitman Hart checks in. And he drop kicks Triple H. Yeah, Jeff Hardy's clearing house. Jeff Hardy's clearing house, and I'm here for it. As Bret Hart slides his way into the ring. Working on Eddie Guerrero already. Got him in a corner. Nobody gets him in the corner, so I'm not worried about that no more. As Rick Rude gives a belly to belly to Triple H. Jeff Hardy just chilling, though. Oh, as I say that, he pops back up into action. Ooh. Big knee lift from Ravishing Rick Rude. Is he looking to eliminate Jeff Hardy now? Is he looking to eliminate Jeff Hardy? No, he's not. No, he's not as Jeff Hardy delivers a suplex. Jeff Hardy has three finishing moves, bro. If he gets somebody in a corner or, like, on an apron, bro, a twist of fate elimination would be beautiful, bro. Oh, my God. DDT. I was about to say, speaking of twist of fate, but it was a DDT. Oh, Triple H, you missed. And you got a DDT for your actions, bro. Oh, my God. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going, Jeff. Keep it going, Jeff. Come on. Eddie Guerrero got... Oh, oh, it's over. It's over. Eddie Guerrero eliminates Page. Oh, he was about to eliminate him. Bret Hart hating. Bret Hart hating. That's crazy. And a pile driver to Jeff Jarrett from Rick Rude. Oh, my. Ooh, that's tough. That is so tough. And the Ultimate Warrior got eliminated at the same time, damn near. Oh, they're cleaning house. They clean the house right now. But Jeff Hardy made it to, like, entrance 17, bro. So, I commend him for that, bro. I definitely commend him from that. Currently in the ring, we have Bret Hart, Rick Rude, Triple H, Eddie Guerrero, and Pedro Morales, bro. This is an insane group of people to have in a ring at the same time, bro. Not gonna lie. Oh, Eddie Guerrero just narrowly hangs on. He's still hanging on. What is he gonna do? Oh, there we go. He got out of it. He got out of it. He got out of it. Rick Rude just chilling. Uh oh. Eddie Guerrero said, where the fuck is you going? You think you finna try to eliminate me? I'ma just let it slide? Oh, no, 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 sir. Oh, my God. Pedro Morales got dumped. I, bro, I looked at my phone for a second, and all I hear is a thud. It's fucking Pedro Morales. And Mr. Perfect comes in at number 18. Let's get it. We got Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig in this bit, man. Jeff Jarrett going to work on him quick, though. Hats off. Shawn Michaels is interest number 19. Sleeper hold as Randy Orton makes his way. Yo, the latter half of this Royal Rumble is insane, bro. Look at the people that are in this match right now, dog. Oh, is that Pedro? No, not Pedro. Pedro already got eliminated. Who is that? Oh, Rick Rude is out of here. Damn. Uh-oh. Randy Orton about to get a pedigree. He just came in. Stall him out, Trips. What's up, bro? Oh, big knee to Chris. I said Chris. <laughs> to Mr. Perfect. As Jeff Jarrett is continuing the onslaught on all of these superstars in here. Everybody can get everybody can get it as he busts open Triple H, bro. He's rocking. Oh no! And he just gets thrown over the top by Triple H. That's crazy as the Miz. That's a great spot to come in at 21. Hey, he's an opportunist, bro. The Miz is an opportunist as he goes straight to work on Shawn Michaels. Straight to work on Shawn Michaels. There we go. There we go. Turns attention to Randy Orton. Oh, that did not last long. Oh, never mind. Show us something, Mike. Show us something, Mike. He don't know about that corner. He don't know about the corner, bro. I'm not even gonna focus on that no more. Eddie Guerrero, Triple H going at it. <laughs> yeah, you can't even focus on the corner, bro. I'm telling you, it doesn't happen, bro. It definitely doesn't happen. Uh-oh. Eddie Guerrero with the springboard, and he misses everything. He misses everything as Mr. Perfect gives uh the Miz a nice stretch and leg sweep right there. Uh-oh. Honky Talk Man at number two. Okay. Honky Talk Man, the man who Gunther passed like last month or a month before that for the longest Intercontinental Championship reign. So this man had that record for like 20 year, 20 plus years, bro. It's kind of crazy. Eddie Guerrero chills on the outside for a bit because you can't be eliminated under the ropes. You got to go over. Oh, big chop. Big chop in the corner. Come on, Randy. Get his ass up. Get his ass up as Pat Patterson makes his way to the ring. That's, that's kind of... I don't expect much on Pat, but you know what? It's no telling. It's no telling. This is all unpredictable, bro. 
That's why we doing this. That's why we doing this. We gotta get our. Oh, did he just chop two men at the same time? <laughs> Yo, Randy is a menace, bro. And he returns on Raw tonight. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh oh, the Pat Patterson taking. Oh, Honky Tonk won't go in for that. Honky Tonk won't go in for that. Triple H and Eddie Guerrero lock up. Oh, Randy Orton got Shawn Michaels out of here. Double RKO. <laughs> Yo, the thing is just hit an RKO with Randy Orton. Are you serious, bro? What is going on in this match, dog? Every time I take a look back, a, not look, every time I take a step back and look at who's in the ring at one time, it always amazes me, bro. You have Eddie Guerrero and The Miz in the same ring. You have Randy Orton and Honky Tonk Man in the same ring as Pat Patterson gets eliminated. That's kind of crazy. Oh my God. Yo, that suplex was crazy. Who is it? Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's only right that Gunther has a later uh, pick, bro. He's the current champ. He's the best champ of all time. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. As the mid. Oh, he missed the kick. He missed the kick. And Randy Orton jumps on him with the Luther Express. Stone Cold coming in, standing on business as he has Honky Tonk Man in the, in the sleeper. But he gets out of it. And the Miz is chilling in the corner, bro. To catch your breath, bro. You breathing hard as hell, bro. Oh, my God. Who is it? The British Bulldog at 25. Who do we have left, chat? I'm trying to think who's left. I know Gunther for sure. We haven't seen him. We saw Edge. Um. Oh, RVD hasn't came in. Diesel hasn't came in. Uh, Razor Ramon hasn't came in. Okay. It's a couple names. A couple names. A couple names. Another pedigree. Yo, Triple H, you must be stopped, bro. You must be stopped. How many pedigrees does this guy have? He's almost stunned out here. Mmm, nice snap suplex. Oh, and Randy Orton eliminates Triple H. That's fitting. That's fitting. I like that. I like that. And the Miz got out the corner. Yo. It's a lot going on, bro. He's a loser. And the RKO the Stone Cold. Bro, drop a like, dog. Drop a like. Please drop a like, dog. This match is insane. I like that. Hold on. No, 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 no. Bro, Randy Orton was just going crazy, man. This is so unpredictable, dog. We're down to four men in the ring at one time as Tito Santana comes to the ring. Okay. Gunther at 27. Ooh. <laughs> hey, bro. Hold on. I like this. Oh, my God. Already imposing his will. Already imposing his will. Well, Tito Santana tried to eliminate Bridge Bulldog. Ooh, sidestep. Side step by uh, Tito. Come on. Oh, yeah. Got British Bulldog. To get your ass in. Oh, big elbow. Elbow straight to the knee. Oh, Ken Shamrock. Ken Sh did I not, Did I forget to put RVD in this? I think I might have forgot to put RVD in this. That's kind of tough because I know I put Diesel and Razor Ramon. Damn. Put RVD. I don't know. I think I did forget to put RVD. Damn, that's crazy. And a monkey flip. Hold on, that's crazy. Ooh, face buster. Tito Santana showing his athletic ability. Show us some. Oh my God, Gunther. Oh my God. Yo. Ooh. Oh, going crazy as Diesel makes his way into the ring, man. As oh my God, Honky Tonk man just dropping the fist. Oh, Gunther versus Diesel. That is crazy. That's crazy. That's a matchup I like. I like that matchup a lot. Oh, Stone Cold Stunner to Diesel. Oh my God. Hey, look, like I said, chat, this is unpredictable, bro. Come on, chat. Oh, Honky Tonk Man is out of here. Straight over the ropes like it was nothing. And Gunther. Oh, and Stone Cold Steve Austin is out of here. Diesel ain't like that. Diesel ain't like that uh, stunner he gave him. Uh oh. Oh. Nice reversal from British Bulldog right there. Mmm. Gunther with the moves. Oh, Ken Sham. Oh. Why he just catch Gunther like that? He know the ring general was going to give it up in this match. Like, come on, dog. Uh, let's be honest. As Razor Ramon is entrant number 30. I totally forgot about RVD in this match, dog. That's kind of crazy, but it is what it is. That's what that's, that's what I want to see. Oh, and Mr. Perfect is out of here. Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. We down to six. Six men. Oh, nah. Tito. DDT. Come on, Gunther. Oh, my big boot. Yo, Tito no sold. Tito no sold. So Gunther had to put his ass down. And Diesel has been eliminated, Chad. We're down to five. Where are you going with the bad guy? Ooh, he tried it. 
He tr he was about to put yo. He was about to send that man to the ether, bro. <laughs> bro, Gunther, he got Tito up. Oh, I thought he was about to eliminate him, bro. Damn, I thought he was about to eliminate him. Come on, oh, flying cross body from the British Bulldog. Oh, Gunther said nah. He said nah. We ain't going for that. We ain't going for that. We'll walk down Razor Ramon once again. Oh, he's out of here. He's out of here. He's out of here. Ken Shamrock. Oh, at the same time. Ken Shamrock and Razor Ramon both eliminated. Tito Santana and the British Bulldog. Hold on. Ooh. We're down to two. We're down to two. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. It's crazy, bro. Ooh. Come on, Gunther. Come on, Gunther. What are we doing? What are we doing? Good suplex. Show that offense off, boy. Gunther don't got no sub. Oh, not, not submission. He don't got no uh, signature, no finisher. Oh, my God. No. Ooh, atomic drop. I'm scared because uh, British Bulldog has a sig and a finish. Uh-oh. It might be over. Gunther, what you gonna do? Oh, the British Bulldog wins it all. Damn, bro. Damn. Hey, man. <laughs> He's the best Rikondo champion. We <laughs> just gonna say it, bro. He's the best Rikondo champion. So this is your answer, bro. If we put all, if we put 30 of the greatest Intercontinental champions in a Royal Rumble, British Bulldog is winning, bro. All right, drop a like if you enjoyed this video, man. Sub if you're new. I'm, I'm gonna put out more videos like this. This was fun, bro. This is real, real fun.